Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Sal Plays KOTOR. Unfortunately, we had a few technical glitches in the last bit, and we lost a bit of our progress. Unfortunately, we missed the bit where we get the mission to get in the Sith base. We also missed an attempt with me attempting to kill Bendix Starkiller in, a de in the death match that we'd set up, and fail miserably after two attempts. So instead, I decided to go after the Sith base, and uh, we've now got T3, and Bastler is with us because we are... Gonna need the power of a Jedi to uh, take down the base. Oh, and she wants to speak to us. So before we get to uh, the slaughter of the Sith, let's uh, see what she wants. How can I help? Uh, yep. Yeah. I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth would do. Yes, I realise that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. <laughs> Yet somehow you, you also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Volker prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Ah, that last one. But though others helped, you were the catalyst of these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Hmm. Perhaps, but the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... Yeah. I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions... Well, we're already off to a swimming start. We are, you know. I'm about to wreck into a base of Sith. Although, true Sith died out centuries ago. Ah, Nagasadal. You did cause a hell of a problem for yourself. Oh, yeah. TC needs to, T3 needs to open this. There we go. <laughs> That's the whole reason we got the droid. Alright. That's a uh, go surprise them. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata bona nakachu. Kipuna kakin cha na kwati. Mana mana tota. Thank you. <laughs> I should have kept 50 credits. <laughs> yes. That's my own fault. Right, TC. Yeah, normally you, there's an option you can buy there, but I spent all my money, didn't I? Right, TC. Let's start the hacking and start the um the destroying. This is why I love having a droid that I have custom. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't actually equipped his uh I haven't actually equipped his uh probe package so he um he can be better. Oh, I can't equip that though, why not? Uh da, 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 da. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's why he's squishy at the moment, because he can't equip the full plating and I'm not excuse me. Equip Bastler's weapons and armour. How silly of me. Alright. Sure. Alright, TC. Back. Why am I calling him TC? There's probably uh, something from my childhood. Uh, it's T3, so I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, and we got a Sif droid. We got a Sif battle droid. Or Sif Assault Droid, as it's known. Uh, yeah. Let's open the door. 
Although you don't generally want to run into that door because you end up in another boss encounter. Uh, medical. Command centre. Oh, there's no droids in the command centre, is there? Nope. Okay. Well, we're about to start hearing a lot of shooting. And, oh, we got a level up from all this. So, yep, 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 yep. He's greater than he was before. Oh, and he's now got his class 2 upgrade, which means... Yes, he's class 2 plating. I'm here. And Bastler is better than she was before. Right. Um, mm, 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 energy resistance, uh, destroy droids. Well, I'm not going to need that now because I already have droids. So, four shields probably going to be the best bit. Alright. Just make me into a powerhouse before we go charging through this base. All right. something. Ah, oh, yes. Be in there. Let's have a look what that says. Uh, Sif data pad, Sif data pad, Sif data pad. Oh, well, damn. If we decide to invade this base a day earlier, this wouldn't have been as much of a problem. Yes. Right, let's stim you up as well. Yes. Right, and what you should probably hit Valor. Speed. Uh, shield. And we didn't, you don't have heal yet, do you? That is fine. Yep, yeah, Bustler is quite literally a powerhouse at the moment. But she is a Jedi, so what do you expect? Hello, more free XP. Alright, be quick before all these stims wear off. I'm going to be stimming all my characters again before we go and fight the commander of this base because he is a bit of a hard fight. We'll come back to him in a minute. Ooh, life support systems. Nope, oh, more stims. No, oh, yeah, create a grace because it is down already. Oh, Sif, who did not get caught. He's about to throw a grenade, isn't he? Yep. A plasma grenade. Stop throwing poor plasma grenades at T3. 
Sure. <laughs> Luckily, he's got an advanced med uh, repair kit now. So, he can shrug it off if he needs to. But, ooh, advanced med kit's nice. Uh, I really should have given you Cure Bastler, because uh, I get the feeling that's going to come in handy before the end of this. Right, we're just going to save it here, guys, because this is actually the area we got to on the last playthrough before the game crashed. <laughs> and I had to reboot my computer. Should make me a bit tougher now. Right, this level up should. Ooh, a new attribute skill. Uh... Yeah, let's make my wisdom at plus two. Well, my. Yeah. Not really much more I can put my points into at the moment with an awareness. Uh, right. Uh, should I get two weapon footing or uh, plus three skill points based to uh, injury? injury. Uh. Uh, no, we're going to go for gear head rank two at the moment so I can actually get an implant. Specifically, nerve enhancement. As uh, T3 just goes out the way, scrub. Let a real computer specialist deal with this. Alright, uh, take off droids, yes. Well, they've done their job. They've uh, got rid of any enemies we didn't need. Oh, the armor is here. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, all the turrets are offline, so it's a free, easy pickings. Oh, iron rifle. Oh, and a beam splitter as well, which is an upgrade. Uh, oh, disruptor rifle. Mount Cast going to be happy. I can fully upgrade his gun now. Oh, nice. Right, time to replace that stun ray with a flamethrower. Alright, back the way we went, and uh, we're nearly done. But um, I'm going to do Davik's estate, I think, as well, because Torrent Malus ends did take up a little while in the last time I tried to record this, but. Unfortunately, because of the computer problem, I have uh, lost that footage, so may as well do a bit more on this episode to make up for that. Right. Saving it here before. Yes? We free that guy, because that is the guy who went and hid those bodies before, so what? So, red, 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 no. Right, hang on. Hey, there we go. Wait, what? What? No, that should have. Have they all got to be red? It's 
try that again. They should have all been green, not red. That is dirty. Right. I hate puzzles like this, especially when they don't work the way they used to. Uh, right. Because it basically works, you change one panel, the two adjacent to it change to the next one. So I change that one to red, that goes to green. Right. Yeah, that's a fair point. But yeah, he was basically the alien that um, we met in the first uh, time in the apartments who hid the Sith bodies. They caught him hiding them, and so he's been put here for interrogation. Nice little callback to that beginning bit early on the Taurus mission. Right. We break into here, and uh, I think there's nothing left because the uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Well, that pass car actually opens the elevator. Yes. Right. We've got a mini boss encounter here, which is going to be the uh, Sif War Droid. Which we will uh, deal with this way. What? Ah, my shield's gone on this character. So. Here we go. It should be hopefully much easier to defeat now that we have, um, you know, crippled its shield. Yep. Normally you'll find that the shields in that thing are very hard to beat. I like how compact they are as well, you know, they're much easy they they fold down, very easy to store. Alright. Uh what? shall we get a move on before uh, you know? Uh, shields and status effects wear off. Because now we have to fight the base commander. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. Are you sure about that?
Hmm. Going to enjoy you, Seth. Need to be watched. Judgment. Um. Yeah. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace that this meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. So you annoyed, you failed somehow that your master thought it was a good idea to take your lightsaber from you. Well, master luck, you know what to do. I heard I bet. Oh, he's throwing grenades. Ah. TC, keep using your flamethrower on him. He is organic. It will be super effective. And apparently, sure. I am stunned. <laughs> Right, let's get his remains. What's he got? Ooh, life support package, Reduno Samulant, Terrace launch codes, Syndicate Gauntlet, oh, Strength Gauntlet, Snow Band, Under Shield. Ooh. Nice amount of nice amount of gear, to be fair. Use that to, uh, oh, nice amount of credits. I use that to uh, equip the entire party. Ooh, that's for a lightsaber. Ooh, and we got some battle armor as well, and a few tunnelers, which will come in handy later. Right, let's not waste any time. Let's go straight to see Candorus. Fortunately, Bastila, I'm going to have to leave you behind for that, which... I know. Not ideal, because you are a powerhouse, especially when you've got your lightsaber. But, fortunately, I'm going to need a droid and somebody who can shoot for the next bit. I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, no. I don't need to have a look at that mine. It's uh, just guarding the terminal. I've already hacked everything in this base, so it's not going to be useful. Alright, let's go deal with Bendex Starkiller, and then let's get down to Javier's Cantina and get the hell off this planet. See, I do like the aesthetic as they tried to make it appear as though it was the early days of stuff. And that they appeared with age, so like how C3PO is and some of the others, they are clear advancements to the technology. But then this is before the um, the, Ru the Ruson Reformation. Which caused the uh, stagnation of a lot of the technology in the Star Wars galaxy. I'm planning to do a lore video on that at some point as well. Uh, where's this? No, this way. I say, once I've done the bit with Bendix Starkiller as well, we are going to link. Uh, sorry, um. skip mode. Uh, I forgot what I called it for a second then. Well, wow. <laughs> um, simply because it's a lot of walking back from the cantina to there. So, right. And then I'll, I'll continue. I'll pick it up basically from where we get to the cantina so we don't waste time. Right, that level up should have given me all the power I need for this next fight. It is still going to be a harsh fight, though. Ooh, and I got that life support medipack. That'll be what I need to take to uh, get my stuff back up once he uh, bombs me. Surprise, Bastler did. 
Christ, Bastard didn't say anything about that. Ah, he's going to start throwing grenades. Nice. Come on, Bendit, pull your blaster out. Yeah. Oh, most of my, uh, my mods have worn off as well. Right, run. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt quite a bit. Right, next round. Yeah, this isn't the most honourable way to win, but it is basically forcing him to keep switching between his two weapons. And round three. Alright, and run. And that's how you uh, essentially cheese a high level opponent. And that is also Bendix Banty done. I'm not sure if you could hear me over the clapping much there. But yeah, that's that done. Time to grab my last uh, winnings from this guy. Head down to the cantina and turn on my vanity. So that's the last side quest done. Oh, thanks. Bastila heal as well. What? And she's still injured from the um, battle with the Sith Governor, but that's fine. Let's uh, get out of here as well.
Alright. I'm gonna say skip mode engaged. Mode disengaged. Here we are, guys. It's about to re enter the cantina. And uh, try and get off this planet. I figured you Now, I know the Sith military base have a break. And I know it's a deep sea. Fair enough. But don't take too long. As soon as you're ready to get inside. Yep, I've just got to go turn my bounties in and we're done here. Not there. Oh, that's all the bounties done. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, escape tie. Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, sorry, I have messed up. So, we are going to use the rapid transit system and skip mode engaged. <laughs> Called the bounty off? That's wonderful! I Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my faith. Right, we're back. All business is taken care of, and now let's get to Davik's estate. There he is. I figured you'd be now. So what? Davik's old. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard. This is too risky. We should find you got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this. While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik. Oh, wow. That's a pretty nice. Oh, yeah, he's definitely uh, on the dark side. From according to this, we'll take the neutral party. We'll take TC. 
Uh, T3. What? I have no idea why I keep calling him TC. Oh, hello. There's Darth Revan himself. Uh, Malik himself. Oh, well, that's definitely one way we go about it. The entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians. Oh, that's Saul, Not by the way. Not our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Not my lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. See, that's the problem with um, you know not having a Death Star, you have to position your entire fleet at strategic points around the planet in order to devastate it. And the thing is, they don't actually destroy the entire planet. They just level the the oh, Echinopolis. I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Cantorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Camo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. <laughs> I'm sure Cantorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive. As was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With a recommendation <laughs> from Candace and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain. <laughs> ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the outer rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect it. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Fortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. Now oh, you'll be surprised soon. <laughs> These will be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you. That is fine. They can try and deal with me most harshly. <laughs> no sense waiting around here. Well, you're not wrong. All right, let's quickly just do your level up. Uh, what are you? Let's see. Uh, demolitions, awareness. Yeah, you've got the class of a soldier, haven't you? Yes, you have. Okay. Right, first things first. Boom. Uh, T3. 
two at 11, or I can give you one of these. The upgraded one. There we go. And now we're all set. Ooh, more spikes. Uh, no, ooh, not the vodka sock sticks. Right, TC, that's it. I did it again. I keep doing it. T3. Hey, what's the. Kudu, Tony Rama, Napraka. Hey, babe. Uh uh, no one. Alright, fine. Cool, the girls will just kill you. You're all criminals anyway, so. Uh... And, well, considering what Malik's gonna do, this is probably gonna be swifter for you. That poor Rodian. Now, well, something's been blasted in here before from the look of some of the holes. Ooh, another hair trigger. Pizzac card. Ooh, data pad. Let's quickly have a look at that because that'll be useful. Uh... Oh yeah, that was the one I failed. I think, yeah. These are all of Ben Dick's kill uh not Ben Dick, Callow Nord's kills. That is impressive. That is a rancor head. Yep, a calf hound from Dantooine. Huh. I think that one's a crate dragon. Ah. It's a small crate though, from the look of it. Welcome to the slave quarters, good sir. I mean no disrespect, but... Uh, well, I would say come with us, but... I don't... There's no option to do that. Oh, remains. T3. You know what to do. Wow. He actually had that option. Those poor buggers. Uh, barracks throne room. Uh, 
nobody in there, is there? No, it's because I've already um, dealt with them. That's where we are. Wow, he has gas traps everywhere. Davik is not messing around, and he is a particularly nasty person. Pardon me. Oops, Spice Lab. So, guest room means torture chamber, does it? Oh dear. Uh, security to do home. Security. Upload various schematics. Right. Sure. Nobody else move a muscle or step on this. Nice, more spikes. This will be near where the guest room is. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, there'll be guards. It's the spice lamp. Poor souls, but hey. Right. I did most of these peas didn't want to work for the exchange, probably. They're looking for fame and glory. Probably. Right. Oh, hello, Mr. Guard. Oh, and you've got a shield. Unfortunately, that, that did not do much good for you, did it? This is probably Davik's quarters. Yep, yeah, that's a lot of credits he just leaves lying around. Ooh, armor reinforcement heavy blaster and an advanced med kit, yes. Oh, nice. idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tan I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk. That was flagship. <laughs> I know the codes to disable the security system for you can use It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base. Oh Davik, you should not have tried to kill your pilot. We did. Uh, right. Yes, but there is, I can smell XP, so we're going to um, deal with the rest of the guards.
that we did deal with the ones in this room. Davik does not want to be dis, you know, betrayed or double crossed, does he? That's why he's gone to such lengths to. Uh... Mm, yeah, thrones aren't really in my, you know. I don't really have a taste of flair, the flares of the dramatics like this. No. But uh, he's an evil dictator who works for the, well, crime syndicate, so um, it, you, he does him. Yeah, this is where I was before. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Though, looking at it, I need to heal. Speaking of which, there is first aid in the spice lab. Because <laughs> while you're manufacturing narcotics, kids, you should stay healthy. Although, that being said, if you, you know, completely avoid drugs altogether, you will stay healthy probably forever. Damn those Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I oh, know whoops. Turn on the sooner oh, I should have taken my stimulus before I went in there. Here, thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Right. And shield. I did not give Candorus a shield, did I? No, I didn't. Right. Actually, they'd be better on my other character. Uh, right. No. He already has. Has one. What? Right, this shield are down. Wait, am I down? Uh, David's gone though. I'm going down. I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Uh, runs away. Get Damn shot. Shit. I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Well, he's trapped under there, so you think he's gonna be dead. Oh, come on, now is not the time to not be looting the remains. Uh, ooh, any Anakin energy shield, life support package. Nice. Uh, and I'm down again. Right. Let's get out of here because, well... Let's get this ship. We're fired. all dying. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Yep, yeah, that is fine by me, mate. <laughs> Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. <laughs> mm, this is why Revan was at least reasonable in his approach to war. You are um, Plot a, course for a monster. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly to the gun turrets. 
You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. That's fine, I can do that. Okay, that should be the last one. Is that the last? Yes, it is the last one. Cool. Dantooine. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. Huh. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great... There we go, sorry about that guys, uh, I scrolled my mouse onto my other screen by accident. Uh, great strength in this place. Uh, I think Carl, Carl has a point, but... We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could... Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I don't know. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. Now I must go speak with the Council. Yeah, there she's going to the council to basically go, Hi, ah, I found a Jedi! Train him! Probably. Alright. I've spoken briefly with the council. Okay. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for some... I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in a... Come, there it... Uh, until you have talked with the Jedi Council, you'll be unable to switch characters. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm going to bring the episode to a close there, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, perhaps consider leaving me a like, a comment, or subscribing. Yep. And I'll get the technical glitches fixed for the next episode. Anyway, that being said, take care, have a good day, and may the Lord Keepers ever be in your favour.